We've been looking at the uh, humiliation of our Lord over this triduum. We've seen our Lord humbling himself to wash the dust off the feet of his disciples. We've seen him humble himself by allowing himself to be crucified. And today we think upon that other, probably most obvious humiliation, namely his burial. And remembering that humiliation comes from the Latin humus, meaning ground, meaning earth, it's very obvious how a burial can be considered a humiliation. That's what was expected of our Lord. He gives himself over to the same fate as all of us. And at some point we're all going to be buried or cremated. The cause for, for us that's, that's a very painful thing, particularly when we've got loved ones that whom we miss. Arranging a funeral is a hard and emotionally draining activity. It's also costly in this country. It's a cost to people who are, be who are burying their families. And the awful thing is that they're giving their loved ones over to returning to the earth. To a dissolution of the body. And our Lord himself gives himself up to that, to that potential. He is buried, and Joseph of Arimathea, who kindly provides the tomb, is expecting nothing less than that dissolution. And it is upsetting. To have your loved one become indistinguishable from the dust of the earth is an obvious departure. But, again, we go back to Genesis. Go back to that first that first story, that first encounter with God. And we know that he forms man of the dust of the earth. And even in the Psalms it says that the beasts die and return to their earth. And yet when the breath of the Lord falls upon them, they're revived. It is God who gives life. And that is why, even if our loved ones return to the dust, the resurrection of our blessed Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, which we celebrate tomorrow, gives us hope that our loved ones will be remade. That their dust will be reconfigured. God has 
creative power for all times. And he creates and he recreates. And he knows us more than we know ourselves. So it is nothing for him to be able to put us to resurrect us with our bodies. Remember, this is the point we are. We aren't just going to come back as disembodied spirits. We are human beings. Our bodies are raised from the dead. And that is our hope. So all those people whom we have lost, whom we have lost to the dust, they will return. Our Lord's burial is a humiliation because it gives God that contact with the earth once more. And just as he sanctifies the waters of baptism, just as he sanctifies the wedding at Cana, just as he sanctifies the oil which is poured upon him for his burial, so his presence in the tomb sanctifies the tomb for us. It becomes a place of sadness nonetheless. We mourn. But it becomes that final place where we can meet with God, albeit in our decrepit and morbid state. This is why St. Paul says, Death is where, where is thy sting? Grave, where is thy victory? They've been removed by Christ. So God bless you. God bless you if you are in mourning at this time. God bless you if the pain of your of losing someone you love is unbearable. God bless you that you may know that the church mourns with you. And yet brings you that hope of God's resurrection. God bless you if you are f f in fear of dying. That God may be with you. May be with you as you pass. And welcome you into his kingdom when it happens. And God bless you all. That we at our resurrection... We stand in our white robes before the throne of the Lamb and praise him forever and ever. God bless you. Please pray for me.